I could sort of relate to Kathy Blair and just thinking about what that would be like as a woman to be home alone. For prosecutor Andrea Austin, this case was personal. That is the boogeyman story for every woman, it's right? Awful. An intruder is in your house. Yeah. Someone is stabbing you. 53-year-old Kathy Blair was a beloved choir director in Austin, Texas. Music needed to be in our lives or we would die. Kristen DeGroote was one of hundreds of students Kathy inspired. She was so kind. This is a case that sticks with you throughout your life. A crime that made no sense to detectives Carrie Scanlon and Derek Israel. It was the dead of night, December 6th, 2014. This murder started right here on the bed. Kathy woke to a total stranger with a knife. Kathy Blair fought like hell. Who kills a choir director? Who does that? Yeah, she's a monster. The killer took some inexpensive jewelry but left no DNA. Then just nine days later. I get notified that there's been another murder. Billy and Sidney Shelton married 64 years and devoted to their family slaughtered in their beds. I was seeing some of the same things. The crime scene, the innocence of the victims, were all eerily similar to Kathy Blair's. The Sheltons, Kathy Blair, none of these people had any enemies that we could figure out. They were all upstanding people. It had these detectives whispering the unimaginable. I thought we were dealing with a serial killer. If word gets out that there's a serial killer, it kicks it to an entirely different level. Austin needed answers. It came in a form not even the savviest cops could predict. I was out testing a thermal scope. Rob Leaf lived a few blocks from Kathy. The night she was murdered, Rob was out trying a scope like this one. Picks up a heat signature. I saw the headlights of a car coming up. On and, this uh, street? On this street. This is the video Rob recorded. This video showed the murderer walking towards Kathy Blair's house. The actual killer? The actual killer. 